I totally went around all day without any eye makeup waiting for the UBS men to bring me the new Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix Palette for Holiday of 2015. Um, it's what's on my eyes right now, which there will be a demo for the eye look towards the end of the video if you're interested in that. The artwork on this palette is absolutely gorgeous. This image and everything about it, I just love. I like tattoos, I like Kat Von D's style, all of that. So this is right up my alley and on top of it, the colors. I love colorful eyeshadow. <laughs> it came in a clear plastic case like this and then also there was a little sheet in there with three looks. There's the dark wave, muse, and misfit looks on here and then it just got, it has the colors on the back of the sheet. From what I had read, Kat Von D was trying to make this look like a record and it is about the size of, well, a smaller one. I, I remember back in the day when my mom had records and stuff, they were a little bit bigger than this, but the, it's, it's a good size palette and there are 24 shades in here which look like that right there. And I believe all the shades in here are new shades. That's what I read on the Sephora website. And then also, I thought a couple of the names rung a bell in my mind, but I had flipped through my Kat Von D palettes and I didn't come across, I didn't like extensively search, but I didn't, I did a kind of a glance. I didn't find any with the same name. So I'm um, pretty sure they're all new. So the palette has a little star right here on it where you like grab it to pull it out, which is a nice little detail. And then here is your palette. This comes all the way out and then you have, this is your cover right here. So you don't actually have a cover attached to this palette. It needs to go back inside of here. The only thing like design wise I would have done with like this guy right here is put like a little bit of filigree or something in these open spaces because it's quite noticeable like the extra space. Otherwise, it's it's very gorgeous. I love, absolutely love the artwork on the outside of this. Now on the look that's on my eyes, I used a ton of colors. I tried to use as many bright colors as I could and a lot of them were the matte shades, which um, matte bright shades can be a little difficult. I was so surprised. I didn't have any fallout on my face at all with any of the shades that I used. And I used um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? I used eight of them <laughs> and I didn't have any fallout on my face at all which I just thought was was great. I know last year's palette a lot of people did not like the quality of that palette. Um, on my first impressions video when I did that I did like the look that came out of it and I didn't have too much trouble with it but, but this is on a whole nother level. So here's the palette up close. I'll read off the names to you guys and then I'll also tell you if they're matte shades or not. The only one with glitter in it is this purple right here. And it doesn't appear to be very chunky glitter, but there are glitter flecks in here. The other ones that aren't matte are just like a shimmer. You've got Anthem, Love, Swoon, which is a matte, Destroyer, which is a matte, Rewind, Harpsichord, Analog, which is a matte, Fran, which is a matte, Legend, Vinyl, this beautiful green. I was so tempted to dig in that into that one. Misfit, Lemmy, Hyper Ballad, which is a matte, Synth, which is a matte, Dark Wave, which is a, mm, that one's got a little bit of shinies in it, but it, it's not super, super shiny. Um, Echo, and then you've got Muse. And then inside of here, you've got Strutter, which is a matte, this brown, Lyric, Black Metal, which is a, which is a matte, Skulls, Noble, which is a matte, Molder, which is a matte, and Vox, which is a matte. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these three at a time for you guys and then also in the description box down below I will list after I like wash my face off if these shadows stained my eyelids or not. I'll put that down below because I'm not sure. So there are these first three purple shades. Right there. We'll start going around the little circle here. This blue is crazy, crazy beautiful. Crazy beautiful. There's three. Then we'll start over here. Dipping into the yellows and oranges. These last ones I'll do four since there's not another trio left to swatch. <laughs> And 
And then for the neutrals, I'll start with these three up top, which these guys are matte. These are so nice. These are just so nice. And then the final four right here. Makes for an interesting one to swatch. <laughs> Going around in circles. Just giving you guys a close up of this box because I think it is absolutely beautiful. I think it's so, so pretty. Here's a shot of this year's holiday palette next to last year's holiday palette for you guys. And then this next shot is this year's palette with the palette from 2013, which has got the, the gal on the front cover. This, this one right here, I'll show you guys which palette I'm talking about here. It's this guy right here. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I'm really over the moon with the way that this performed upon first use. Again, I didn't use every shade. I used quite a few shades, but they blended and they built and they didn't have fallout. They weren't like overly dusty. I really, really had a good first impressions with this palette. I'm really excited about it. So far, it's out of the holiday palettes. This one's my favorite. I do have the, um, the Vice 4 got here today. And then I've got the Urban Decay Spectrum palette. And then what, oh, the Tarte one, the Tarte and Sephora one. Oh, let me know if you guys want to see videos on those as well. I feel like I'm on a roll here. <laughs> the weather hasn't been the greatest, so I've been inside. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes from the lash line to up underneath the brow with the NYX eyeshadow base. In this, I'm just going to use the shade 03 this time, which is the, a deeper flesh tone color for me. Because um, I want to use the red. And if I use the white, the red and the white is probably going to make a pink color. And I want, I want red. <laughs> I'm actually going to take just a little bit of the white uh, NYX primer and I'm going to put that on my lid. I feel like things could get a little wild with me in this palette, so we're just going to see where it goes. <laughs> I'm going to take a Goss number 18 brush, which is a flat shader, and I'm going to pick up the shade Synth, which is this matte bright blue color. I'm going to pack that on the center of the lid. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Using the same brush, I'm just going to turn it on its side and pick up a dash of the shade Lyric, which is right there. It's like a slightly champagned color. I'm going to put it right up in here. And then I'm going to turn the brush on its side and blend them. Then on a Chikohoto GSN 9 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Destroyer, which is a matte red color. And I'm hoping that it stays a, a red and not doesn't turn pink on me with that base, but I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the crease and blend it upwards. I'm going to add a little black in there too in a minute, but I'm going to create kind of that sh same uh, shape that I've been doing. Then on a Chikohoto T7 brush, I'm going to dip into the matte orange shade, which is called Analog. It's this one right there. And I'm going to blend it into the red shade. These eyeshadows are... So far, magnificent. I have an ounce of fallout on my face, and these are matte. It's like great. Yas. Now on a Tom Ford 13 brush, it's just a blending brush. I'm going to go into the shade Fran, which is the matte yellow. And matte yellows are really—they're a tough sh uh, color to do in a matte. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to put that on top of the orange and blend it into it. I'm really digging this. 
digging it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> then on a gloss number three brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Molder, which is a matte uh, cream shade. And I'm gonna use that for highlighting underneath the brow here. Again, on a gloss 18 on the side of it, I'm gonna go in with the shade Skulls, which is a little bit whiter in color, and I'm gonna go over the shade Lyric that we put in the inner portion earlier, because that's it's just not quite bright enough right there. And now on another Chikahoto GSN 9, ever so carefully, I'm gonna go into the shade Black Metal, which is a matte black color, and I'm gonna put just a bit of this out here. And then I'm going to take the brush that I put the red down with and give that a buff. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the red. Go over that. I just wanted to deepen that up a bit. So here's the eyeshadow done. I'm going to go ahead and put some brows on and some liner and mascara and stuff. And I might run some stuff through my brows. I'm not sure. I kind of want to do an ombre colored brow. <laughs> we'll see. If I do, you, I'll film it for you guys. <laughs> and then also some lips. I'm going to use the Chikahoto GSN 12 brush to do this. And I'm going to go into the shade Synth, which I put on my lid earlier, which is the matte blue shade. And I'm going to put that in the um, first... I'm going to put it all the way up to the arc of my brow. And then for the outer half, I'm going to go into the shade Dark Wave, which is a deeper blue. It's got some little tiny um, shinies in it, but it's not like full shimmer or anything. I'm just going to put this lightly through the back end of my brow. Then I'm going to take this clear brow gel from Rimmel, and I'm going to lightly try to poke my little hairs up here hope that it doesn't change too much color because I like to see the tips of my hairs kind of. <laughs> then for lips I've got good old Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. I'm just going to go ahead and line them. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill them in with Tom Ford's uh, Spanish Pink, which is just kind of a nude color. So there's the overall finished look using the new Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette for holiday of 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.